Hans Christian Andersen is described as a completely fabricated biography of the famous Danish fairy tale writer Hans Christian Andersen. So I don't know how I feel about what is essentially a musical biopic being completely fabricated, but I don't, I don't know if there's any truth in this whatsoever. I'll be honest, I'm not the most knowledgeable about Hans Christian Andersen's personal life. So having watched this, I'm now actually very curious to see if I can actually find a decent biography or just any factual information to see how it compares. If you know any of that in detail, I'd love to find out. But ultimately, this is a good, fun film that needs to be taken with a pinch of salt. It is not perfect. There are certain things about it that I thought were less than good. And I will talk about them with going into too many spoilers. But in a way, I feel like it's not the kind of film that can be spoiled. It was released in 1952, directed by Charles Vidar, uh, with a screenplay by Moss Hart, based on the story by Miles Connolly. And we have Danny Kay as Hans Christian Andersen, and his performance is incredible. He is a true entertainer. The way he interacts with the children is wonderful. His vocals are great. He doesn't do much dancing. I was going to say there's not that much choreography in this, but actually there's too much choreography, and I will explain that in a moment. But his performance as Hans Christian Andersen is exactly what I hoped it would be. He's easily likeable, very lovely, and just visually perfect as well. The costumes are amazing. Joseph Walsh plays a character called Peter, who is his young charge, and Peter as a character is great. There were a few times when I thought he was going to be quite juvenile and selfish, as a character would rightly be in certain situations, but actually he proved me wrong and was really fantastic, very admirable as a character. Maybe not 100% believable, but likeable and well acted. So basically in this, Hans Christian Andersen is pers- persuaded to go to Copenhagen, which is pronounced entirely as Copenhagen. And I've never ever heard it pronounced that way. I don't know if it's a a regional difference or if it's meant to be pronounced Copenhagen and in the UK we pronounce it incorrectly. I'm not sure. So if anybody does know, please feel free to enlighten me. But anyway, he goes there and he meets this ballet dancer uh, called Doro. Uh, She's played by Zizi Jean-Marie and he falls a little bit in love with her, quite smitten. And the film's kind of about his devotion to her, but and also about the progression of his stories, going from spoken stories to written, and a little bit of success in his career, and how perhaps his stories became more well-known. Because a lot of it was word of mouth, children spreading the stories. But obviously over time, some of them are going to get written down with his name at, attributed to them. Now, I don't know if that is true. I don't know if he wrote them down himself or if it is just word of mouth and somebody else wrote them down and put his name on them. Again, I will have to look into it. But I think we can all agree that the stories that he created are wonderful. So the two other things, I guess, that need to be addressed are the elements that would make this a musical, the singing and the dancing. Danny Kay, as Hans, doesn't really have much dancing. There are some, there's some movement, but we're not talking Dick Van Dyke. You know, it, it's not that kind of character. Again, his art is the spoken word and it's done very well. There is, however, too much choreography in the sense that there is so much ballet in this. It drives me insane. I'm not the biggest fan of ballet performances. I can appreciate it. I can watch them in doses. I... I don't think I'd be able to sit through an entire ballet performance. And there is one in this one, which is about 15 minutes long. It's somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes. I didn't start kind of tracking the time until after a few minutes when I realised it wasn't ending anytime soon. And that is ridiculously long for a film to have a, a 10 to 15 minute performance. No words, no lyrics, no no singing, nothing. And that's I mean, that's a film that's it's just it was uncomfortable. There was absolutely no need for that at all in a film. 
uh, unless you're obviously watching a film that's specifically about ballet and that's the kind of thing you would expect. But even Black Swan doesn't do that. So I think the timing in this is quite bad. There are quite a lot of occasions where I thought that's going on far too long. There is a, uh, there are a couple of scenes, not, not involving ballet, but a couple of scenes that just dragged on for too long when there's no real singing or talking. The editing isn't great. They could have cut down a lot. The film's an hour and 50 minutes. Easily could have been an hour and 30. Nevertheless, apart from those 15 minutes of ballet, that just bored me to tears. The musical aspect is great. There are some really beautiful, really beautiful songs in this. Some of them are kind of sing-song spoken word rather than being, you know, belters. Um, such as The King's New Clothes, which is basically the Emperor's New Clothes. Um, he sings... My, my favourite one of them all is I'm Hans Christian Andersen. I think that one's absolutely brilliant. I also love The Ugly Duckling, which is just beautiful. The, it also has the song No Two People, which I love, sung by Doris Day, so it was really great to see it here on screen, being acted out. The music is good. There are a lot of it that's maybe not going to stick in my mind but certainly the ugly duckling no two people and i'm hans christian anderson especially i'm hans christian anderson which is beautiful beautifully sung by danny k is one that i'm going to be singing for a little while longer the entire musical is great fun as i said as a fabricated biography what what can you kind of take from it i I am inspired to learn more about the life of Hans Christian Andersen, which can only be a good thing. The songs are pretty decent. Too much choreography, too much ballet. 15 minutes of just ballet is not acceptable in a film like this. You know, it slowed the pacing down completely. And because this was relatively near the end, I, I started to will it to end, which is a shame. But ultimately, it's a really good film, really enjoyable, very sweet, a product of its time, one that I would definitely recommend.